Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. What we're going to be talking about today is layers in AutoCAD. We're going to show you how to use them, how to make them, and what they're for. So let's dive right into it. All right, so to get started, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to open up our drawing, open up a new sheet, so we have a clean slate to work with. So once you're in here, whether you're in AutoCAD LT or regular AutoCAD, you can come up here and you can see the layer properties. So you can see I'm using AutoCAD 2026, but this is applicable to almost any version of AutoCAD. Um, so you know, don't worry if you're a little dated, that's okay. So again, just click on the layer properties tab and you're gonna have this beautiful new dialog box show up. So what this is gonna do is it's gonna show you your layers, which layers are active, which ones are frozen, which ones you know need have well, what different colors you have, you know, things like that. So if you just take a look at this, you're gonna see we only have one layer, and that's the default layer. So we have the default layer, but you don't usually ever want to use the default layer when you're drawing and drafting things. You're gonna to want to create a new layer. So if you come here, you're gonna see this little button up here, and it's, it looks like it has like a little sun or a star or something, and it is a bunch of sheets, so it says new layer. So you can press that button and you're going to start with a new layer and you're going to be able to type a new name. We're just going to call this, I don't know, you can call it walls, you can call it base layer. We'll just do walls because you know that's what we tend to do. And we now have our new layer. So you can see here uh, we have our new layer but the color is the same. So what we can do is we can just click on the white and we can select any type of color we want. So this is the AutoCAD color index. So you can come in here and you can select the index color or the colors that they have available. You can also just do true colors. So you can go select your own color. There's also color books and stuff, but you know we're not going to deal with that. We'll just select a random color, click that, click OK, and that is the color we're going to have. Actually, you know what? I'm going to make it a little brighter so we can see it on our screens. Okay, there we go. So once you have that set, you can go and change your line type. Generally, you're going to keep a you know continuous line type for a lot of things, but some other times you're going to be able to you're going to be using dashes and things. So if you come here, you can just click on uh, this button here called Load. Just click Load, and you're going to see that there's a bunch of stuff you can load into AutoCAD, and these are all different types of line types that you can use. Um, you know, it depends on your industry for what you're using, but you know you can see here that there's a bunch here. So use whatever you want. I'm just going to click on and continue just use and load continuous, click OK. And then you can also adjust your line weight. So you can do, you know, just standard line weights here. You can also do thicker line weights, things like that. But I'm just gonna stick with the default, click OK, and there you go. You can also make it a little more transparent. We're just gonna keep it at zero. We don't wanna deal with that most of the time. Um, but uh, this just changes, you know, obviously the transparency of your line. So here, if I set it to 90 and I click OK, and we're on our walls, and then I go and I draw a line, you're going to see that the transparency of the object is very, very faint. But if I come to my layer properties, let's just shrink it up a little bit so we can see what's going on. We can look at our line there, go to our transparency, and if we go and we can, if we click through it, we do go to 40, it's going to get a little brighter. If we go to zero, it gets where it needs to be usually where you're working with things. So that's how you would deal, deal with your transparency. So if you come here, you can see we have our layers on and off. So I have that line now. So I'm actually going to go, we're going to see it in the corner here or over here. Sorry, hold on. Let me just get this set. You can see we have our line here. If I click on or off, it'll say, do you want to turn it off? Um, we can turn it off, but I'm actually going to switch my layers. I'm going to come here and you can see that we shut it off and we can't see it anymore. So when you shut it off, um, obviously the layer isn't there and it doesn't exist, but there's a better way to do this is you can freeze it. So if you freeze it, it's going to keep the layer on, but the layer is going to be frozen. Like you can't, you can't see it. So this is really good when you've got multiple layers to things. So you can go in and freeze things that you don't want to see. And if you're just working on something, you can just keep the one thawed that you're working on. So there's freezing and thawing. Then you can also lock layers. So that just locks it down and you can see that it went, you know, it, you can't move it or anything like it's stuck. It's stopped where it is. You do not move it. You cannot move it. And that's a really useful thing if you don't want to move things or you don't want to accidentally change things that are really precise. So just keep that in mind as well. And then that's kind of how you do layers. So again, you can come here, you go and you can create a layer. We'll call it doors. Let's say you can go, you can edit everything you need. We can freeze up here as well. So you can see we have the freeze tool, but we can freeze here as well. We can delete layers here. So if I don't like my layer, I can just select my layer. Do not double click it because if you double click the layer, it's going to make that the active layer. So you can see if I just click it once, it's just going to be highlighted blue. But if I double click it, it's going to have a check mark beside it. So you know what that's what it says status there. Um, if it's a check mark, it means that you are on that layer and that's the one you're drawing with. You know, I can come here and change the color as well. Um, but yeah, you just want to keep that in mind. But if let's say I don't want my doors anymore, I can just click this or I can hit delete or I can type erase. 
um, and it will go away. If you click the check mark one here, so the check, check mark one will make it current. So that's the same thing as double clicking. So just keep that in mind. And that's how you would make layers in AutoCAD. You can also see up here we have a bunch of other tools. But for the most part, for most of you guys, all you're going to need to do is, you know, go to your layer properties, create your layers. And when you're drafting around, you can just click this drop down menu to quickly select your layers. So I'll just show you that for a sec. You come here, you click. We, we just have a few layers here. Um, you can see here, the more layers I add, I'm going to have all these layers here. They're going to be different colors. It's going to show you the status, whether it's on or off, frozen or thawed or locked. And you can see you can also adjust these from here from here as well sorry so you can go through change all this make it work in a quick interface so you don't have to go open layer properties all the time and fix it so that's how again you do layers in autocad if you like this video consider liking subscribing joining the channel guys thank you so much hopefully this video is helpful take care and i'll see you in the next one